our country is in a very the state that we need a lot of spiritual and divine intervention. My annual Olojo seclusion that I started yesterday, but I will go in fully now. I will have less human contact. That's how my ancestors have been doing it. But we should pray very, very severely because things are very hard now. The whole economy, we all know the challenges, especially the issues of restiveness of our youth. It's a sensitive thing that needs prayer so that it won't go out of hands. Also, my prayers will be to Pray for more divine intervention for this new government, for all of us to be patient, for the new government of President Bola Hamid to, move, to turn around things for our nation because the expectation is so high and everywhere is so tensed up right now. We will continue to pray for our leaders. So going to seclusion now that I do every year, it's an annual routine. Anytime I go in, there is nothing that I've taken there that I haven't gotten answered to. There is nothing. Over the last eight years of me being on this trip, and I know now that as I'm going in fully, what I started yesterday, whatever I talk to my creator, and in agreement with my ancestors, things will be better. I want to appeal to our government to be more people sensitive. It's very important. The palliatives is not getting across board. It's very important for all of us to move very swift. We pray this youth issues and restiveness not be out of place. For me, the prayer is for our country to still be united, for our country to excel and prosper. And the entire continent of Africa and the world at large to be in peace.